Because of Ganon shenanigans. There's, 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 shenanigans. There's a little uh, gremlin that helps you out, but she's also a princess. Because she's trying to restore her own power because she's lost that after Ganon took the Twilight Realm over. Through the power of Zant. Also, technically, it's not Ganon and its demise, but that's a little Also, <laughs> I've heard that I've heard that Skyward Sword is kind of busted, but I haven't it's, played it, so I can't speak. Skyward Sword's so, awful. It's not, like, it's not awful. We should be having this conversation in game. I have it recording right now. <laughs> and cut! I like I like Twilight Princess. I like Twilight Princess too. Like I, oh no no, there's a lot I, of. I want to make this very clear. I don't dislike any Zelda game. Okay. Well, I'm just saying sounds... by comparison Triforce to Heroes. me. <laughs> Spirit is that sorry? Spirit tracks. Did you say Tom's, Triforce Heroes? I think Tom's Do you not remember yes. my note on that document? I fucking love Dynasty like Warriors. Yeah. What am I thinking of? No, not. Uh, is it is it called Triforce? It's called Heroes? Hyrule Warriors. Well, no, the Triforce Heroes one is, is the one on the 3DS. That's what we have. To, you have three players. And those three those don't out. count. Okay. If the, that's the, not the name, the I don't only handheld ones that count are Link's Awakening, and that's it. Link between worlds. Oh, and Link to, and Link to Past. Sorry. Link between worlds. What about uh, which is just like for the past again? Those are also I, good. I like those a lot, but they're to archaic. me they aren't part of the canon. They're fucking oh. archaic. I like them a lot, but they're not part of the canon, in okay. my eyes. All right, all right. They're specifically part of one timeline. As a matter of fact, I had Oracle of Ages, and it was one. It was one of, if not my favorite Game Boy game. But I still don't consider it part of the canon. It's one specific line. I don't want to hear about spirit tracks. No one cares. Phantom Hourglass. Some people care. I'm not one of them. Uh, I haven't played it's either. Okay. I haven't fine. played either of them, unfortunately. Good. Um, four swords. Oh, what about Minish Cap? Minish four Cap is cool. Minish, Minish I've Cap actually heard Minish Cap is really good. Never Minish Cap's played, real good. I've never played it, so I can't speak to it. It's uh, it's. But the I same. have actually heard it's really good. It's the. It was the first Zelda game, like chronologically, until Skyward Sword happened. Fun fact. Right. It's really that's, good. That's the other thing. Skyward Sword kind of tried to explain away the whole Ganon thing. Yes, by demise. Well, yeah, but like, what was wrong with Ganon? Like you could have, you could have done if you wanted because to explain they were the incarnations. If you could have, if to... you could have, or if you wanted to explain it away, you should have done it years ago. We're on like what was Skyward Sword, the twenty third game in the fucking series. It's too late. <laughs> like Ganon is eternal, and he always has been. There was never anything before him. At least at that point. But like Link me. has God power, Zelda has God power. And then they need a reason for Ganon to keep coming back, so they give him ultimate evil <laughs> you know, as pretty, a thing. I'm pretty sure in the speedrun they used the one for the certificate to break this boulder. How do you get oh. there? They're better than you. Yeah. yeah. They walk backwards. <laughs> I could... I. Oh, I think actually... Actually, they, have they, they tried backwards Hess. walking? They might do a Hess. With a bomb. They might. I don't know. How could they do it if they don't have a shield? And pick it up at the same time? They might. I don't know, Richard. <laughs> Anyways, welcome everyone to Three's a Crowd, the YouTube Let's Play that's also kind of a podcast. My name is Nathaniel Kiefer. I'm Richard Jellison. And I'm the guy Richard Jellison's driving nuts. <laughs> Known as Thomas. Hide. <laughs> He's booking it. And he decided to hide. <laughs> Smart man. Uh, so Who's we... that guy in Ocarina? He looks familiar. He's, He's one, one of the carpenters. carpenters. Yeah. That's why. See that? That was good resource management. God, all I of love... that giant boulder exploded, and all of the smaller boulders were just the full size boulders. Just as very you could lift small. Or blow up. Yes. Uh, good hardware limitation management. Speaking of carpenters, the whole like Terrytown uh, side quest in Breath of the Wild is fantastic. Uh, I don't know Terrytown. Uh, you make all the the Bolson and Olsons like all. Oh, of those by the guys. way, I haven't finished that game because I lent my Switch to my girlfriend like half a year ago. Oops. <laughs> Thanks. It was either that or buy her a Switch, and I couldn't afford to buy her a Switch at the time. That's fair. So. So we are at Romani Ranch, of course. And what's our topic, Mister Jellison? Uh, eighteen naked cowboys in the shower. No. Oh. At Ram Ranch. Stop it. Uh, we can talk about, uh... Is a new third member? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta mark... Equipment. Uh, I gotta mark it. all this down. I would just mug him. 
<laughs> don't I have no job right now. Uh, what do you think is the uh, one of the most overrated movies ever? I feel like we did that one. Uh, <laughs> Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. That's probably way movie. up there. Uh, is Metal Gear Solid Four a uh, good answer? <laughs> <laughs> Never played it. It's, it's the best. It's the best game I've ever watched. And the best movie. Ever. The Actually, most, Death Stranding is really one good. of the most <laughs> overrated movies ever. Avatar, Titanic. Titanic. James Cameron, except for Terminator. You know what? I wanted to say Titanic, but I've never seen it, so I can't. Oh, I it is Pearl. so long. How about Pearl Harbor? Yeah, okay. But some, just because something is overrated doesn't mean it's not good. Pearl no. Harbor's pretty good. No, I know, but it's overrated. Uh, Schindler's List. Mm. Let me think. Movies it's that got... are overrated. Wait, what's happening right now? Oh, she's telling you the story about the aliens. Are they actually aliens? Yes. Well, they're ghost aliens. Oh, this looks like, um... Uh, uh... Not Mothman. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Uh, it is... We're playing it's Slender on... completely um, escaping me. We're playing XCOM. Oh god, yeah, a little no. bit. <laughs> we want to talk about a real horror game. Oh, it's oh. Malin! It's Romani in this game, but yes. It's the same, uh... For some reason, she calls you Grasshopper because you wear green. That's you're cute. A boy, I like that. Won't you try? Yes. You're, you're a boy. I like when characters give you little nicknames. Yeah. Like um, in Fallout 4, Piper calls you Blue because you. Yeah, wear... that's a good one. Oh, it's oh. really good. Um, but like when a character gives you a nickname that they will stick through the whole game, yeah, whether or not you named it that, it's fantastic. Especially when it's got it's immersive. Especially when it's got voice acting, it's a good way to cover over the fact that they can't. Predict yeah. every Ooh. name they've ever come up with. Yeah, that's very true. Let's see. Overrated movies. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, I know there's definitely... Tarantino's pretty overrated. Uh, yeah. I, I won't disagree with that. that does, again, I, that doesn't I mean that it can't be good. I love all of his movies. But... I think some of them are treated better than they deserve to be. Yeah. Reservoir Dogs needs a little more love, I think. I was going to say the opposite. I think Reservoir Dogs... I think Pulp Fiction gets too much, Yes, honestly. I was going to say. Yeah. Pulp Fiction might be the most overrated movie of all time. It's a great movie, but like, it's, oh, uh, it's called Status is like so far advanced. In that same vein, Fight Club. Yes and no. I think it depends. I think absolutely. I think I, any movie with like a famous twist ending. Did you get a so different long. bow? No. Your bow looks different. Okay. Um, you can't tell me it doesn't. It doesn't look that different. It looks very different. You, you know what? Now. I will say there's only one reason that I am saying I don't know about that for Fight Club. And that is because I, last year, I can't remember exactly when... Finally saw Fight Club for the first time? <laughs> well, I, I saw it for real for the first time because I saw it in the theater. Where's the last one? It's right in the house, right to your right. Um, the, uh... Wow, Fight Club's a much better movie in a theater. Mm -hmm. Like, night is and day. It? Really? Yeah, it's it actually is, like, really different. Just from, uh, like, it's sound just, design? Yeah, the sound design, but, like, the meta aspect of him talking about being a film projectionist. And, like, there is something about, like... There's something about seeing one frame of a penis no, in... Well, yeah, I mean, always, <laughs> always. I just splice that shit into everything. <laughs> but, um... No, there's, like... Yeah, I guess it is the sound design. Like, it just seems... A, the movie's a lot more visceral, especially when you get to the end and things start... listen to the Pixies. Things start, like, <laughs> popping off. Like, things are exploding, and there's, like... The fights are a lot more visceral. And just something about seeing it on the big screen. I think most movies benefit from the big screen experience, but... I think... This one is just something I'm nitpicking because I personally saw it pretty recently. Well, for a lot of movies, I think they take two viewings for you to really know if you like it or not in the theater, like, having a surround, like, thing with people, and then be viewing it uh, on your own this as a separate experience. This is me think of, um, there's a, there's a YouTube channel called Funhouse, and there's a guy, yes. their editor on Funhouse, called Don, and one of the running jokes, which is only half a joke, because it's actually true, it is, <laughs> he only has seen, like, a hundred movies in his entire life, what? but he watches all of them, like, seven times in a row. Huh. On a weekend, he'll just pick a movie and watch it over and over and over again. Why? Because I, he's an editor. Uh, I guess you learn good practice and good editing through that. I guess that I makes guess sense. So. I, like I, I don't. I mean, I can't. I can't think of any other reason other than that. 
Or maybe he's an editor because he's a weirdo and has always done that. <laughs> it's hard to say. But, I don't know. It seems like an interesting way. Like, I, if he takes notes during, that would make sense. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, like I said, a funny bit that they do, but it's not a bit because it's actually true, but... Mm. I don't know the story. What, what do they it, say? So. Things like, "Hey, have you seen blank movie?" And then text pops up that says no, because I don't know what you're talking about. Well, he <coughs> the the main bit I'm thinking about is where he's talking about how he only buys Blu-ray, 3D DVDs, Ugh. and ah. no, what it was was one of the other one of the other um, personalities on there asked him, uh, in like a pause, he turned and said, "So, hey, Don, what movie are watching seven times this weekend?" <laughs> And then it kind of kicked off the whole thing. And the answer was Ghost in the Shell. I'm which sorry. he said a lot of people give shit and is actually Look, better. Okay. The, one piece, of, that one, the one piece of commentary that can actually offer is the fact that it's like, oh, well, it's taken away from somebody of Asian descent, which makes an extra step in the, the separation of uh, personality and who you are as uh, a, a physical thing. This is cyberpunk. Hot, hot take from someone who loves Ghost in the Shell and who thinks they casted the movie wrong. Hot take, they could have just named that movie anything and made it have nothing to do with Ghost in the Shell and it would have been a much better movie for it. Yes. A lot of a lot, a lot of things of that really have that, that, yeah, a lot of things that do that should be different movies. Yeah. Like, people would obviously make the comparison, like, oh, this obviously takes homage from Ghost in the Shell. But, but if they say that, it's a they lot, would be kinder to it. It's yes. a lot, lot better than going, well, why the hell is it Scarlett Johansson? Yeah. yeah, which is really the only reason people railed against that movie. Yeah. Uh, because it could have gone to an actor of Asian descent. Yes, we've been. On I that think list. I think it should have gone to uh, Mako Mori. God, I can't remember. No, her name I right mean, now. I personally thought from Pacific Rim. Rather than Scarlett Johansson, I definitely thought they probably should have cast in Mila Kunis. Oh, yeah. Why? See, that's a joke. Okay. <laughs> At least she's not. Immediately white? I don't know her ethnicity. Richard, what you just said is much more problematic than the joke I made. Look, having a white actress play a part that's originally a non-white character is problematic itself. No, I mean the problematic thing you were talking about was just saying Mila Kunis isn't immediately white. Don't you don't know she what is. she is. I don't think she is. You should have just said, that's a good joke, Thomas. Yeah. You should have praised me for my hilarious comedy work. It's fine. Uh, the praise three, me. The three people can, that <laughs> listen to this can tell me that I'm wrong. What, we got the mask and what else? We got the bunny. Equip it now. This is the speed run now. Yeah. Buckle up, motherfuckers. Buckle up, move, chuckle flex. We, How we much got, faster do you move backwards? Uh, we got <laughs> arguably the best ma like utility mask in the game now. We now move and jump at twice the rate. And this is uh, the thing yes. we could have used to get that thing. The, the most thing. Util most utility mask in the game. Don Caro mask. <laughs> it's also doubles as being a double. So. Now you need to give that to the postman. <laughs> no. Don't you? You don't give the bunny hood to the postman. That's an ocarina. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, look, I'm mixing my knowledge remember, from those remember, I don't remember which is Remember which how anymore. in this game you keep all the masks and they help you do things? Yeah. And in the one before it, you just have to find who needs the mask. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you there because that's a hood. It's not a mask. Oh, actually, I didn't know that. If it was a bunny oh, mask, okay, I would so understand. What you're what you're arguing in a very roundabout way is that the Happy Mask Shop could be should be called the Happy Mask and Hood Shop. The happy accoutrement shop. The happy haberdashery. Yeah, that would have been better. Wait. Do haberdashers deal in masks? They could. Could they? It's a head covering. You Can, mm. can you say that they can't? Alright. Do you know uh, enough about haberdashery right. to dispute a, a, my a, claims? A question, a question <laughs> on your question. Is your face part of the head or is it just face? It depends on how long your forehead is. What? What are we doing metaphysics now? If How does you're that even bald, a thing? your whole face <laughs> is part of your head. I don't think that's right. Yes. So you're saying the thing that denotes head from face is actually hairline? Yes. No. That's how facial recognition stuff captures it. No. Yes. Do you have eyes on the top of your head? In your hair? I don't want to talk about it. Are you Princess Daisy in that one trophy from Smash Brothers? 
She has an eye in the back of her head yes. or something. Oops, wrong song. What's the wrong song? Wrong song. I want, I want to do a Pono song. Bolero of Fire. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, all the songs in this game are the same. Except for uh, the, the Goron's Lullaby, which is the most different song of any song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I'm Baby Epona! Yeah. I didn't notice you were riding a pony before, so this is a genuine reaction right now. <laughs> I was doing it during the arrow um, thing. You mentioned my bow was, was different, but you didn't notice I was riding a horse? Look, it's Luigi. Twice. Yes. Yes, it is. Well, Luigi. Luigi and Luigi too. <laughs> Blue Mario. <laughs> Uh, Waluigi is the ultimate reference yeah, of a Nintendo, reference. Nintendo piece too, yes, so. I watched yeah. Brian David Gilbert as well. Stupid. Back. Don't say that's Brian David Gilbert. That was originally just a meme that someone made, like a just like a photo with captions. That's fair. Brian um, David Gilbert stole it. No, he didn't. He made it better. Uh, so if there's Pardon a red, me. if there's a red Mario and a green Mario. And there's also a yellow Mario and a purple Mario. What about their forbidden well, blue and orange Mario? Well, actually, <laughs> actually, there there is a red and a green Mario, but the the yellow and the purple Mario are actually not Mario's because they're cousins, not brothers. Fine, but that doesn't change my. Or point. they're not necessarily Mario's. They still actually. But what about be. the blue and the orange Mario's? Actually, no. The lore is uh, disputed. He just decided to bring uh, uh, Luigi, the Waluigi along. Yes, but Wario is a cousin. Maybe. I don't know. Hang on. I gotta. I, was, I gotta. I, was, I, I gotta call someone. Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you're gonna call my grandma. Call Are we Bowser. doing this bit. Douglas Bass. I was really, really worried I wouldn't be able to remember the n the name of the new president of Nintendo America, but thankfully they just picked a guy named Bowser. So that <laughs> be easy. Doug Douglas, Douglas Bowser. Douglas well, I call him. I, I'm a person. D Bowser. So I call him Dougie B. <laughs> I thought you were gonna call him D Bowser. That's my ref. <laughs> no, D D Bowser is what all of his employees call him because he's D Bowser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. Well, those aren't those the forbidden blue and orange markets? That's what I'm saying. These he has purple sleeves though. You know why they're forbidden, right? He knows it's because they've both been on twelve day meth bangers. Look at these dudes. <laughs> He's riding a speckled horse. He's also slapping that horse real hard. I mean, you slap your horse too. That's not what I like to call it, but okay. Imagine how much better Link would do in this race if he had a saddle. I don't know how much of a difference it would be. Also, if you're trained to be uh, to to ride it bareback, what's the difference? Probably nothing. The saddle would probably just hinder you at that point. It's a different feel. You'd be uncomfortable the whole time, and therefore the horse would as well. No, I don't think so. I think even if you're trained to ride bareback, it's goal! still probably more oh. comfortable with a saddle. Oh, it was a goal. I was right. Yeah, we won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, neckbeard, go and get upset at this. <laughs> what is this? It's a like Garo's a, mask. What it, can't you read? What does it do? Uh, it uh, summons undead ninja warriors once we get to Icana Valley. Actually? Yeah. They're not on your side, though. No. Well, that's. Okay. I think the real question you need to ask is why do two horseback riders have. Well, <laughs> clearly they run it. Because they're actually highwaymen and they wear these masks at night to conceal their yes. identities. Yes. That, it's... That, was, that, was, that's, that was a twist that Mitchell probably doesn't actually know. Is it. Oh, that's true? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. Oh. They're actually, yeah, they're actually robbers and they use the masks to conceal themselves when they want people. Oh, I was <laughs> gonna say this that, sounds that's yeah, what they, they, do this they heard that they heard that song by Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, and Chris Christopherson, and they were like, Man, we're all about this shit. It's a country music reference for all y'all out what there. What song is that? Highwaymen. <sighs> By the Highwaymen, off of the album Highwaymen. <laughs> that sounds like a JoJo reference. Damn, I wish there were a character in JoJo's called the Highwaymen. It probably is somewhere. 
I don't remember every single episode of JoJo. Oh, <laughs> well, there's Weather Report, whose stand is called Weather Report from the album Weather Report, so... Oh, and their ability? Weather Report. There should be a character called Huey Lewis whose stand is the news. news. It's a little on the nose. Mm. Well, um, it's not really much more on the nose than anything in JoJo, though. That's fair. <laughs> you got me there. I won't dispute what you said, I'll just argue that it doesn't matter when it comes to that IP. What's well, the rupee? What are the rules? I don't for? know. I think well, I would... So now we're gonna do the other side quest of Romanus Ranch where we bet on the dog races. Oh, gross. Oh, now we gotta stay. That really is our RNG. <sighs> Vote for Blue Dog. Well, we, we, we <laughs> Blue can... Dog? <laughs> yeah, but it's, but it's our RNG because we have the Mask of Truth, right? So we can read the thoughts. Oh, right. So we can cheat on it. No, vote for Blue Dog, though. Put <laughs> Blue Dog hype. Yo, everyone, could I get Frank or Z's in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> Blue Dog hype. It's, a, it's, a, it's a speed run joke. In the speed run, well, the blue dog Can wins. Jordan's mask speed run? I think yes. the blue dog wins most of the time. No, the blue dog wins like once every thousand races. Ah. So everyone always says automatically just vote on the blue dog. <laughs> right. I think we should bet on the blue dog once. I'm gonna bet on the correct one because I only bought enough rupees to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we win if we get it? A piece of heart. A blue dog. <laughs> You get a blue dog that falls right you get, the game. You get the loser dog. <laughs> you decide whether you or not you want to eat it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this lady. Yeah. That She, she Every, was the lady who was looking for this, her lost puppy. This then. lady. Everyone's aunt. Yeah. <laughs> Is her name Joanne? Her name looks like Joanne. Oh. Mamamu. Mamamu Yen. Is that a song by the Jets? Do, 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 do. Mama again. Do, 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 do. Oh, well, she's a mama. Oh, what's, what's your favorite uh, mama Muppet wearing song? a moo? My favorite. Rainbow Connection. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a valid answer. Okay. If my answer weren't their cover of the Talking Heads. Damn it! You're yeah. right. That's a really yeah. good cover. <laughs> As the days go by. I don't feel different. So basically, you want to really find a dog good. who's like, I feel unbeatable, or. I could kill everyone or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold up. I feel unstoppable. I don't think I'll. Lose. How do you know which dog this? Oh. So you want to find a dog that says you're all right. Don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> and then <laughs> the dog that says, "Man, I can't believe we're all gonna die in three days." <laughs> It'll break even, but if he does worse than that, you'll lose. I'll pick seventy-one. Se 71. Why 50? Why not bet all your max? Oh, you're right, you're fine. Just get as much as you can. I mean, you have, we have to win 100 in... Grift the minutes. system. So, can you only do it in 10? So it's like it. Alright, 70 it is. Can you go into debt? Can we blow Link's life savings at the racetrack? <laughs> I think that would break so the game because that would be... Arrow, Blue though. dog hype! Blue He's dog hype! Ass. This dog sucks. Blue dog! Blue dog! <laughs> Blue dog starts Blue off. Blue dog! Blue dog always starts off well and then drops back. Oh. Um, I feel like our dog's clipping into the guy dude. in front of him. He's pushing Blue dog. If we lose because He's of Blue dog... He's making. <laughs> oh my gosh. This Our dog true. felt unstoppable, but it looks like he's being pretty well stopped. He's gonna take third. Is that good or bad? We'll, we'll break even. We had to <sighs> win the first place to win triple or whatever. Second place. Blue dog. Guy. Blue dog got real close. Blue dog did not I think get we break close. Even. Dog. Yeah. Blue dog got fourth. We break, we break even. Third or fourth. Yeah. So we have to win 150 eventually. That's the idea. So let's try this again. Try blue dog. I'm gonna try blue dog. I should do all right now. Get lost! Rob, today I should do pretty well. Check Blue Dog, please. Fine! He's over there, I'll check him. <laughs> His text box just says, Boar! My four paws feel lighter than usual. Oh! Usual. You wanna do Blue Dog? No. <laughs> oh, my belly hurts. You should check Gold Dog. Gold Dog, yeah, you know <laughs> My boy, Gold Dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we doing Gold Dog. We're gonna Gold Dog. If Blue Dog wins. Blue Dog's, Blue so Dog's not ashamed. gonna win. I'll be so ashamed. He'll come in like 10. How many dogs are there? 
See, that's the thing. Blue Dog says my paws feel lighter than usual today, but because of that, that means Blue Dog's gonna come in like sixth. <laughs> we'll see. Do you have to actually win the rupees, or does earning them back count? No, earning them back doesn't count. We have to. We have to place first at least Blue once. Dog hype. This is dog line. Blue Dog Blue Dog hype. Blue dog hype. Did Gold Dog lie to us? No, they, our dog always starts off near the yeah. back. We're only halfway. Here he comes. Later, Blue Dog. Here he comes. Unless they keep he's, clipping he's in. Stuck, he's stuck behind this guy's like, ass. Oh my god, he'll get, he'll get oh my passing. god. Oh my gosh. Yeah, gold Dog. Yeah, we got All it. Right. We got it. Gold, gold dog. dog is king. Gold Dog's got it. Gold Dog's my favorite. Gold I love my favorite you. wrestler. I love you, Blue Dog. Go on, Gold Dog. There we got him. Yeah, there look at Blue Dog. <laughs> Even though his paws feel lighter than usual today, he was like middle of the pack at best. I was waiting for another one to just slowly yeah. come around the corner. A cat. <laughs> Can we do it twice? Well, it'll take me for a walk. We don't have to. That was enough coins. Enough well, how coins. much? Well, we need enough we for the big it. wallet, right? We won triple our bet, so that's all we need. You won triple. That's two hundred ten. We couldn't even carry that much. That's it. So all we have to do, and then that's it. We got a piece of heart. Yes, eyeball man got a piece of heart. So then this is just a cheap way to. Crash the system. Yeah, you go and deposit two hundred in the bank. Ruins the economy. Yeah. You go and you go and yeah, yeah, you go and put two hundred in there. Then you go get the big the wallet. Other, the other way to crash the bank is to uh, the lot. There's a lottery in town, and the numbers are always the same each cycle. So you you do it once to learn the numbers, then you can just do it each cycle and always win. And you just bet like two hundred, and you win like six hundred or something. So except you can't hold that much, but. Yes. Okay, well, we cleared all three side quests really quickly. Well, so capitalism is the real time. evil. The moon could save us all. Oh, I know one. I yeah, one the moon saves us from our own greed. Okay, uh, s don't we have to fight... We have to do the aliens, though. Oh, right. I was gonna fight, uh, say, don't we have to fight Goat again? Not this side, but we did yeah, that already. we already did that this cycle. Well, I didn't know the next time oh, we no. had to do it. Not till the end. No, we would have to do it again this cycle. Or... It could be this cycle, but not yet. We don't have to. No, we don't have to. That's what I'm saying. It could be this cycle, but we don't have to yet. What do we have to do it for? This one is forgetting. The Dongero quest, which we don't actually have that mask yet anyways, so... Uh -huh. So is this the last thing we have to do in this cycle? Well, we, the aliens. I meant the, the aliens, yes. No, there's one more thing after that. Well, we have three days to do it. Yeah, we got lots of time. Well, we only get one shot at the aliens. <laughs> I was actually going to suggest that if we if we go to do the aliens, we shouldn't talk through it, so that if we fuck it over, <laughs> we can we can just splice in our successful attempt. And we don't say anything bad. I mean, I can always just cut it or montage like our attempts. I think we. I, I'm pretty sure I can do it in one try. Yeah. Is it hard? No, it's just that if you screw it up, you have to go back to dawn the first day and try it. You only get, you one, only shot. get one shot. Yeah, because they have Dr. Romani. Are you kidding? Okay. And if they have Dr. Romani, we can't finish the rest of the ramp stuff. So. Hey, Romani shut Ridge. up, I thought your math. Yeah, you do this every time, though. Well, it's because we're meeting for the first time, technically, right? So, what the, why I bought the map is because uh, when you do the alien thing, it'll, they'll show up on the map as little, like, dots or whatever. Oh, nice! Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. How long do you have to defend her for? Four hours. In game. That's forever at half speed. Yeah, we're, well, we're going to take the half speed off. Can you do double time and make it go faster? No, double time only takes you to six o'clock. Oh, right. I forgot it only made it to the time and not made the time go twice as fast. I think in the 3DS version, there's a song that does Yeah, that the song of Double Time in the 3DS remake, you can go to any hour. So like, yeah. I could just immediately go to 2, 2 a.m. and do well, the thing, but uh, here you, I have to wait. You can do that here as well. You just have to listen to Grand Mama. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, Grandma tells stories that pass the time. That's right. Yes, you're right. But, yeah. But I think it's only like, like an hour at a time or something. There's one story that does an hour, and the other story does all day. So. And you need to listen to the all day one with the mask with you the eyeballs. You have to do both. You have to do both stories. You just get pieces of heart out of it? Yeah, they're both pieces of heart. So. Can you do the hour one no issue? Yeah. Well, no, you have to still have the all night mask for the hour one, because their stories are apparently really boring or something. I'm so tense. This is like the scariest part of <laughs> 
Well, okay, so we'll need the bow. We'll need the Do you want to go and deposit our rupees in the bank first? Why? What difference does it make? If ghosts aren't going to abduct our rupees. I know, but to just have them in the bank. I'll put them in the bank if we fail. Yeah, if we fail, you can still put them in the oh, bank. Oh, yeah, that's true. You don't true. get abducted. Yeah, that's true. Well, I thought... I thought you would just go, shit, and then re refresh immediately. <laughs> Turn the N64 yeah, off. Yeah. No, because we still got two masks. We got a piece of heart. Like, we still made progress. I won't have to do that again. <laughs> but there's, we, we cleared the quest, the other side quest a lot faster than I thought we would, so there's really nothing for us to do. It's because we're fucking bald, though. Yeah. So we gotta it's because I convinced you to do Gold Dog. Yeah. So we'll just, we'll chat about something... Fascinating until we get to like midnight. Oh, then do you want to uh, end this episode? Yeah, sure. We'll end it here next time. Spooky aliens. Uh, we'll leave you with this word of wisdom, Thomas. If you can't beat him, eat him. No. <laughs> we'll leave you with these words of wisdom. Man. Okay, why y'all giving me this tiny gun? I want something better than the noisy ass cricket. That was Will Smith in Men in Black. I You're welcome. swear he said the midget cricket, which is a little midget. Yeah, midget cricket. That's what he says. Old, Why y'all giving me the midget cricket? Unlimited old, technology in the universe. We're driving around in a foreign old um, busted hotness. Oh wait, I want, hang on. I, I want to do a retake. Let me leave you. Is with Men these. in Black underrated? Hang on. I want it. Yes, it is. Yes. Mad Black Three definitely is. I've only seen the first one. <laughs> Two is weird. Let me, let me leave you with these words of wisdom. You got excited now. Elvis isn't dead. He just went no. home. That's really yeah. good. <laughs>